Uh, so this question is the maze two, and this question is pretty similar to maze one, and pretty uh, the concept is pretty similar. So basically, you just have to roll the bow. So uh, you just keep rolling until until you hit the wall, and you change the direction, and then basically you want to reach the destination. And uh, for this uh, for this question, you want to return the number of the step, and um, Basically, like when you want when you want to go from here to here, uh, re uh, return the minimum step, and then uh, this is going to be pretty much it, right? So, uh, I'm going to just quickly draw the diagram. So, the concept is using the uh, BFS. So, I'm going to just um, it try traverse uh, the number of possible way you can you know you know uh, you can uh, you can achieve, right? But the problem is you don't want to visit the same cell again. So so if you're going down and then you're going up again, and you you already know like these two cells are not able to uh, are not able to reach the destination. So you want to change the uh, you, you want to change. So you want to change uh, from here and then probably from here and then you go left or you go right. Right. So this is the concept. So we need to know like uh, there is a tracker. So I will create a two D array. And then in this distance, I'm I'm gonna call distance. I'm gonna store the number of what uh, the number of step, and then I will just keep it. I will just keep increment. So this is one, right? And this is one. And you go you go over left is three, right? And then going down is one. Go right is two. Go go down is two, and go right is two, right? So yeah, I mean, uh, this is pretty much the concept, right? So I just keep adding, keep adding, keep adding, right? And um, in this one, uh, in this question, if you know the uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, one of the solution is called Dextra, right? So you can use the idea. So you, I will set every single cell to integer dot max uh, value, right? And I will just keep uh, uh, I will just keep uh, updating, right? So if the destination when I when I finish my traversing, if the destination is still maximum, I'm going to return negative one. And this is pretty much it, right? So uh, let me just start holding. And then first thing first, you'll, you'll have the four different direction. So four different direction. And then I'm gonna call EIRS new in negative one comma zero. One comma zero. Zero one. Negative one. Right, so this is left, right, up, and down, right? So I'm going to just uh, create an equal to a mesa lens and we go to mess at zero dot lens, create a 2D array, new this n by n, and I will set the default value for in i equal to zero, i less than. Uh, and I plus plus erase the fill. This say I equal to integer max val right. So um, the first step is what you want to change the value at the starting point to zero because you are at this location and you don't have to move right. So I'm going to say this as star as zero start at one equal to zero right and then uh we want to return so i'm going to just say return value return so if you want to return this at what destination destination zero destination one if this is still equal to integer dot max val right which means you can reach it right you return negative one else you return this value Right, so now you need a helper function, so I'm gonna call it dextra, right? So I need to pass in the maze, I need to pass in the star, uh, I need to pass in the destination, I need to pass in the this. So uh, I'm gonna just quickly write a dextra. So dextra is what? You have, you, you have maze, you have star, and a destination. And I'm just going to cheat a little bit. 
Oops, sorry. Paint this. Okay. So I'm going to create a priority queue. I'm store in an int array. I'm going to pq new priority queue. And I'm going to compare. So in this one, I'm not going to compare the coordinate. I'm going to compare uh, another value, which is going to be the step. So I want to uh, tra traverse in uh, my step. Uh, based on the priority queue, I mean, just based on how many steps I achieved. So, for for example, in this one, I will have two possible ones left. So this is one. This is going down to two. So my step is one, and my going down is two. So I will traverse this coordinate first, and this coordinate second. Right? This is how it is. So I will say a q minus b two. So the index. This index zero represent x, index one represent y, index two represent step. Right now, now I didn't uh, put the starting point into it. Right, so it's gonna be start at zero, comma start at one, comma, and the first step is zero. Right, so I will have to have what a total step and uh, this. Yes. Zero. I also have an n just in case I need it. Let me equal the main of zero dot length. So I can traverse. So while PQ is not empty. Right. So what I will do is I pull my current out. Right? And once I pull it and I know if my current is actually equal to the destination. Then I can return what? I can return uh, total step, right? But again, this doesn't work. Uh, in last video about the maze one, this at uh, least doesn't work. I have to do like this. Max zero equal to destination zero, and current. I mean current, sorry. And current one, which is y coordinate equal to destination one, right? So now I need to traverse. For different direction, go in, and then uh, I'm going to create what I'm going to create uh, the dir right. Oh. And I for each dir, I'm going to set the x. So x is dir zero plus current zero, and then y equal to dir one plus current one. And I also need a current step. Right. So I started from one. This is because I used the first step. Yeah, right. I used the first step. So it's I starting from one, and this is gonna be pretty much the similar. So x squared equal to zero and y greater equal to zero, and x is less than x is less than n, right? And then y is less than n, and the method x and y is what is empty which is zero so i can just keep adding so x plus equal to with dr zero and y plus equal to dr one and then the current step is plus plus five so once you break the while loop uh you will definitely hit the wall so you want to subtract by one subtract by one by one by one right okay now so you have to know does my uh, does my current distance, which is uh, the distance uh, distance for the current zero and current one plus the current step, which is less than the distance x and y, then uh, you definitely need what need to update, right? So if um, if uh, uh, what should I say? If the distance at current zero current 1 plus the current step which is less than this x and y so what so what you actually mean is what I starting starting position and starting uh, starting x and starting y plus the current the number of the step which is less than the destination x and y at some point you hit the wall right you need to update right? I was this x and y 
is equal uh, is equal to this one and then I can just add a PQ into it, right? New int. So I will say what? Uh, it's going to be x and y. And then the, the distance is going to be this, the x and y, right? And this is going to be pretty much it, right? So when you break the while loop, when you break out the while loop, which means you can find it. So I'm going to return negative one. And if you notice, I, I didn't use the total, right? So I probably will just return to zero. Something like this, right? And what else? Uh, yes, I don't need this, right? So this might be the solution. Oh, new. Oh, new int. My bad. All right, and submit. And here we go. So I think this can be more better if I use the void. Because I don't need to take care of everything inside the solution. And then let me try try out. But yes, I can use both. Alright, so let's talk about the time and space. Uh, all the space, and this is space, right? And yeah, this is pretty much it, right? And this is definitely space, but whatever. So this is what? All of n times n. And the PQ for the space. How many space you can add into it is going to be all of n times n. Right? Every single empty the uh, array queue. And for the time, this is time. And that was the time. So the time for this one is what? All of n times n. Right? Even though this is one for loop. But when you're using a rest, uh, a rest of field, this is the linear, like, uh, linear uh, searching. Right? And then you, you change the value, so every single cell in the D set I, and how many row is un, it's going to be n rows, right? So all of m times n. And then for the dex row, right, you basically like the priority queue. I think that this is heap, it's going to be log n, right? But whatever. And whenever you push, right, uh, it does have a, a little bit time. So if, I, if, you, if you really want to say, I don't know. I mean, I, I would definitely say all of n times n. And the PQ is definitely uh, log, uh, probably log n. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So for this time complexity, I have really no idea. But if you know, just leave a comment below. And then subscribe if you want it. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.